Welcome back, part five, Blender character modeling tutorial in the style of end of May. And uh, we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna build out the eyes. So we're gonna hit Alt, click to select this edge loop right here. And remember, we talked about this last time. If you can't select the whole edge loop, you probably have uh, the emulate 3D, the emulate three button mouse uh, selected. Okay, so deselect that, and you should be able to select the edge loops. Okay, so once we have this edge loop selected, we are going to extrude with the E key and hit Enter to lock that extrude to lock that extrusion in place. And then we're going to do something pretty wild. We're going to hit the middle mouse button and rotate just a little bit. We're going to you can hit the you can hit Y to lock it on the Y axis, or you can just pull this green arrow right here, and this pulls us back. You see, so we're kind of building out that eye cavity. We'll hit that. Okay. Well. All right. So we're building out the eye socket. Let's scale this a little bit, make it bigger, and let's move it back along the y-axis okay so this is this looks a little wonky so if we if we do bird's eye view top or the graphic mode with numpad 7 you can see that these for none of these vertices line up this is not that clean so if we select all of them with alt select and then hit scale along the y-axis at zero Look at that. And then let's lock that into place. Do you see what we did? Now we made some clean geometry back here in the back of the head. Okay, now let's do Control F to grid fill. Okay. See what I did there? I got that menu. That's not the right click menu. Okay, right click menu is a different menu. I'm going to Control F. And that puts up a different menu. That's if we had hit the faces menu. So you can either select face up here, and here's your grid fill option, or you can hit Control F. Okay, so let's grid fill this. You can either hit face up here and then grid fill, or if you like the hotkeys, hit Control F, and that pulls up the face menu as well. We hit grid fill. And that fills it for us. It's different than just hitting F, which would have put one face. We put the grid fill in there, and that gives us a face with some geometry. All right, we have four faces and four additional edges and one vertice, making uh, four polygons. Okay. Now we can come down here. If you want a different amount of geometry, come here with the spam. Okay. You could do. One, that'd be kind of weird. Two, three. Okay, you can play around with this. We're gonna we're gonna run with two though. And then what I want to do is I want to move this back a little bit. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh, because the whole thing selected. Excuse me. With vertex selected, just this one vertex. I'm, I'm gonna pull the eyes back a little bit like this. Boop. Just like that. Okay. Let's go to, let's wrap around and see this in front view, like this. I don't know why that's selected in the back. Let's make sure this is selected right here. Okay. Um, how are we doing? We got this. Let's fill in the bottom half of the face, the chin. Um, what do we want? Let's do this one. This vertex, this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, and then this hit F. See, that just creates one face, whereas the grid fill back here created four. Okay, create some geometry. Here, there's, there's, there's no, no additional geometry. It's just the face. Okay, let's add some. Let's add some geometry. We're going to add some edge loops with uh, Control R. We're going to add more than one, and we add more than one by rolling our mouse, our middle mouse button up and down. 
that adds more. Rolling our middle mouse button back adds fewer. Okay. And the short, if, I, if you don't want any of it, if you want to X out of it, hit escape, and we escape out of it. Now, we need these, so we're going to put them in there again, but that's fine because repetition is the mother of skill. Control R. And roll up one. That's fine. Oh. If you move it, okay, see what it did? That's, I don't want them here, obviously. Then hit escape, and it kind of takes it back to where they locked into place. Let's hit numpad one to get into front orthographic view and bring this down a little bit. Okay, and you can see right there we're, we're adding some curvature to the face because that's what faces do. They curve. Some of them, sometimes. Not all of them all the time, but most of them. Yeah, let's bring this down a little bit more. Like that. That's okay. Uh, and now let's build out the chin. I'm going to bring this in. Bring this down. This one over to join them like that and then like that. these in. So like we just hit face. It fills a face in right here. Face fills a face in right there. And face again. Okay. And then I think, there you go. This is the bottom of the chin. We're probably going to have to bring this down a little bit. Like so. Um, okay. Save our work. Save your work. Control S. Let's go on side view line up the side of the fat. How's that look? Looks pretty good so far. Maybe we can pull this back a bit. Line that up. That. of this cheek looks pretty good curves happening and let's pull this back a little bit doing is lining up the face and if you have a 3d model that you're trying to model around um, run with it you know I mean if there's 
if you want yours to look different than this, then make it so. Build out the mouth. So we need to select edge select. We have this edge right here. We need to delete that. So we're going to hit delete edge. Okay, and now we have an open space and we're gonna do the exact same thing to the mouth that we did to the eye. Alright, we will well first we want to get back into vertex select and we're going to alt click the edge loop. Okay. And remember if this happens and you select a different line off the excuse, a different set of uh, a different edge loop off your selected vertex then just click it again and it, uh, it'll figure that out for you now what do we want to do we want to first we want to extrude and then we want to click enter to lock it into place and then we want to scale and this scales our extrusion okay Let's go here and okay what do we see we see we got a little cleft palette happening okay so we need to make sure clipping is selected and then undo and then redo okay and like that the lip is full and now we're going to do the same thing we did to the mouth that we did to the eye, right? You just kind of figure your form around it. And this is, you know, yeah. look, if you have a character that you want yours to look like, great, run with it. If you wanna, you know, if you just wanna make it look like this template, um, that's cool too. Go right ahead. Again, this is a template. Select these vertexes, bring them in a little bit. We're gonna, okay, yeah. Kind of making the mouth. Okay, and then let's select all of them again and scale toward the Z axis and bring them together. So this brings the lips together. See, you kind of what you want. You kind of you need these to line up a little bit. So maybe bring this one in a little bit more. Okay. And now, if we switch to side view, you can see the geometry's all out of whack, right? It's like front view. Okay, the lips starting to look fine, but side view, nope, it's kind of crazy. So we need to bring this out. Okay, so with. Um, the bottom middle vertex selected this one you're going to bring that out to meet the bottom lip okay and then you really just eyeball the other ones and it's like all right well what is it how does it look to you you bring along along the y-axis
And now we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the eye, right? Let's go to wireframe mode and we're going to extrude, lock it with enter and then drag it back along the Y axis. We're going to build out, you know, the inside part of the mouth uh, into which one may place teeth. Okay, so bring that back, and then we're going to do another, just like we did with the eye, we're going to do another one, see? So hit E again, and then we can drag it. We don't have, we obviously don't want that, so we're just going to hit Escape, and then we're going to drag it along the Y axis as well. And let's flip back into solid mode. Move around into the back of the head. and then scale along the z-axis to widen up the inside of the mouth. And then you can scale a little more. Right? Doesn't have to be too much, doesn't have to be crazy, but just And then, so here's here's the back of the head, right? The area, here's the back of the mouth, and then the back of the eyes, and then we swing around. And then here's our eye sockets and our lips with the entranceway into the mouth. And I think that's, and that, uh, okay, let's save our, let's bring it down in the center. We're gonna save our work with Control S and call it in the next video. minutes get up do some push-ups some crunches a bend go get some water stay hydrated get a coffee come back we're gonna keep going hey you're doing great okay you guys you're doing great all right so far so good if there's any I'm I, honestly I've I've I'm trying to make this easy enough for my mom to use like that's that's the goal right so if I'm going too fast if anything is too fast let me know and I'll slow it down. If you have questions about anything, let me know, and I'll slow it down. I want everybody to be able to use this. It's going to go slow, painfully slow at times. And we're going to repeat a lot of stuff. Um, but again, you know, repetition is the mother of skill. Do it again and again. The only way we learn anything at all is by way of adaptive recall, right? You learn something, you forget it. You learn it again, you forget it again. You learn it again, you forget it again. Again and again and again. And then eventually, the brain, which in which exist three different types of memory, right? So the sensory memory just picks up the adaptive recall enough to where it kicks over into working memory, and then you lose it again and again and again, but you're working with it, and then eventually it kicks it into long-term memory, and that's that's the goal. That's why you can remember, you know, things that happened to you as a child, or it's why you, you'll never forget your name or, you know, childhood memories any any anything long term okay that's enough and uh, we'll see you in the next video